Today we want to talk about process, um, specifically why we've got a process, and I think that ties into financial planning, because we quite often ask the question to some of the clients that we deal with, some of the medical professionals, what does financial planning mean? Better just quickly, why do we do what we do? We started Money in Medicine as an education platform specifically for medical doctors to give you as much information as possible on all aspects of financial planning. From our experience, um, we've picked up dealing with doctors that there is a big need to educate and to help them understand um, all the different aspects and to understand why they apply for certain benefits and why they are paying for those benefits. And what we really want to achieve, Stefan, is to, to give them content um, that you can access in your free time. When you subscribe to this, this channel, you can go back to the channel and you can listen to a specific topic yeah. that, that you are dealing with at that time. Today we're going to talk about process, um, specifically why we've got a process. In essence, what we've boiled it down to is financial planning is getting from point A to point B and defining point B. And what does that point B look like? And how to get there in the most cost efficient, simplest, structured way is your financial plan. Um, so we've developed a process specifically for medical professionals, which we call plan the plan. Because um, we believe everybody has got a plan. You've got a 60% idea or 80% idea of what that plan looks like. And our job as financial professionals is to help you plan for that plan. The first step of this financial planning process is wealth protection. Uh, we need to protect you as an asset. Uh, we need to protect your earning ability. Uh, we need to protect your loved ones if something happens to you. And we need to make sure that you will be okay for fortunate events such as a dreaded disease or a disability to make sure that you are protected as an asset. Mm. That's basically the foundation phase of all financial planning. So to summarize quickly, wealth protection, step one, wealth protection is lifestyle planning, which is disability, critical illness cover, income protection, and then there's also the legacy planning, which is more towards the life cover. Right, yeah. so, so if you look at step two, which is the wealth creation phase, I always use the analogy of, we are currently, let's say, in Joburg or in Gauteng, and we want to retire in Cape Town. So we've got a thousand kilometer journey ahead of us. Or let's call that a 40 year journey ahead of us if Cape Town basically represents retirement. And we need to draft a plan over this next 40 years in order to get to Cape Town in a safe way. Cape Town is the end goal. So retirement is exactly. the end goal. But you have to get a plan in place. How are you going to reach that end goal? Yes. And, and, and which vehicles are you going to use? And that represents the, the type of investments. Um, and you can actually, because a lot of people get confused between what is the difference between a retirement annuity and a tax-free saving. Does a retirement annuity actually perform better than a tax-free saving? If you invest those two in the exact same fund selections and asset classes, it will perform exactly the same. The difference between these vehicles is basically how SARS looks at each one of these vehicles. And that's, where the, that's why the wealth protection is also important to start off with. Because that represents the spare wheel of this investment vehicle. So you can't start your plan without having a spare wheel because once you've hit the bottle, everybody, we embark on this journey hoping we never hit the bottle. But if we, if we hit that bottle, then it's too late to go look for a spare wheel because you've already hit the bottle. Um, so the wealth creation phase is we, we determine, we take you through a process again where we look at which vehicles is most applicable to you from a tax perspective, from a risk perspective, and also then from, a, from an underlying asset loss perspective to make sure that we, that we get you to a safe destination. And we map out this journey and to start to get to know you in the first meeting of what's important to you. For some people might value retirement plan. Yes. Some people uh, might value putting up a fund to, to buy their first property. Again, every person is different. So for, for us, it's important to get to know a client and to get to know your circumstances to see what makes you tick. And yeah. then we develop a program and a plan around that. 100%. Yeah. And also how that ties into to your budget. So the previous episode, episode two, we spoke specifically about budget. So that's why we also map this process out in a step-by-step -step basis and not dumping everything in the first meeting. What, where for us, it's to first sort of stabilize before we mobilize. So that we can understand exactly like Dana said, what, is, what, what makes you tick? What is important to you? How do you make decisions? And can our process help you to make better decisions? Um, before we embark on this journey, and then basically how does that actually complement your, your budget. It's also important for you to reflect on your plan. So every year when you do a, a review on your plan, or every six months, or every three months, depending on the service level agreement that is also signed with you, it's important to reflect how far you've come, what have changed, is there life events that has changed, 
and all of that we will discuss in, in, in future episodes to come as well. So, so that is us. Thank you so much again for tuning in. If you haven't done so, please go to the bottom of this page and subscribe immediately. We will share some future content with you as well. And feel more than welcome to share and, and reach out to us. Contact us, contact us if there's stuff that you, that you also want to add and you want us to talk about. Please feel, feel free to share that with us. We'd be glad to assist you. Thank you. Until next time. Thanks. Thanks.